Alright, welcome to the Panda MX5 channel. We are finally back with another video. Uh, we got some racing seats here, finally to install in the car. Uh, also, while I was waiting around for these, these took a while to ship out. Since I was so bored, I went ahead and painted the brake calipers red, just so they match. You see I have red seats, I have a bunch of red little bits in the suspension, and I plan on having red bits in the engine bay as well. Uh, so today we're going to go ahead and test fit these. We're not able to install them just yet. I have to get some custom brackets made and get some stuff cut out and modify some stuff. So that's what we're going to look at today, what needs to be done to get these to fit in the car. Uh, and then other than that, we will see you when it's time to install them. Okay, so what we got here is Turkey racing seat. It is a drag racing seat, but it has enough side bolstering that I think it'll be fine for what I want to do, like canyon runs and whatnot. Um, so let me just pull this cover off for you guys real quick so you can actually see what's all going on here. So it is all aluminum, TIG welded aluminum. Um, it only weighs about 12, 13 pounds-ish for this one. This is a 15-inch I got for the driver's seat. It fits me almost perfectly. It's super snug with the cover on there. And then when I'm wearing, you know, a racing one zip-up suit, like a fire suit kind of thing, it'll fit a little snugger. Uh, it has holes for five-point harnesses, which I was planning on running, since I'm not going to have airbags or anything like that. And then the 12 pounds is a good factor for me, because I'm trying to keep this build as light as possible. And then these covers are really nice. They've, they're machine washable and everything, so when they get dirty, they can just go in the washer, dry them, stick them back on the car, and you're all good to go. Um, so other than that, that's about all we got. I may end up looking into the back brace. I know they have these for these uh, types of seats, and that, that is an issue for these that I've seen. So I may look into getting one of the back braces for this, just so I don't die, you know, in case something does go wrong. All right, so to start, these are going to be removed, the factory brackets for the stock seat, or any seat with rails, that is. Um, the way these seats are made, these bucket seats, they are fixed. They don't slide forward or backward. They don't recline at all. They're just fixed straight to the floor pan of the car. Um, so I'm going to have these removed, the factory mounts by the gentleman that did the roll cage on this car, and also have him fab up some new mounts for it, just so I don't die, you know, I don't trust my life with my welding, so rather have a professional do this kind of stuff for me. Um, but right now we're just going to go ahead, set the seat in here, see what it looks like, see if we have to modify the transmission tunnel at all, see if it has any clearance issues with the roll cage anywhere, uh, and then go from there, see what has to be done. So let's go ahead and throw the seat in here. away the transmission tunnel right down here where the e-brake usually is there's a little bubble in it I guess for the e-brake cable or something that's gonna have to be hammered in or removed somehow because it is hitting right down there a little bit and then also I see up here it's really close depending on how it ends up being mounted in the final product you may have to do something about that uh, but other than that it looks like it fits okay I'll go ahead and give it a test fit I do have about six inches to go back more if I don't have enough leg room. So, this actually feels just about perfect. I could go back more if I wanted. I might do that eventually because my knees are a little bit cramped up here. Um, this corner here is a little close. Put it right there. With it sitting back, I actually wouldn't have to modify the trans tunnel at all. That looks pretty good. Only issue is this top corner up here is touching a little bit, so I have to see what we could do about that. So far, it doesn't look like it's going to take too much to get these fit in here. I also did mount the pedals just as a test fit. They're just kind of sitting in there, you know, just so I can see what it feels like. Uh, but that's it for right now, so they do fit, and then we will come back to you guys once we're at the shop getting everything put in.